Hi guys, for today's video, I thought I would share with you guys a fun haul and show you guys what I've recently picked up for my apartment, as well as some stuff that I picked up for you guys. I will be doing a little mini giveaway in today's video. Before we jump into the video, I did wanna say a quick thank you to Squarespace for partnering with me on this video. Whether you guys need a website or to help with a domain, Squarespace can be your go-to. So I'll have it linked down below as well as I'll talk about it a little bit more at the end of today's video. And lastly, before before we jump right into today's haul, I did wanna ask you guys, if you guys have any video requests, please leave them down below. I know I've been doing a ton of room makeovers and things like that, but of course I want to expand and do videos that you guys want to see. I already know you love the room makeovers, but if there's anything else you guys would like to see on this channel, let me know in the comments down below. So I basically picked up a ton of stuff from Home Goods as well as I got some new furniture in. My dining table came in, it is beautiful, but I'm not gonna show that in today's video because I'll be doing a full like dining room makeover. But as far as like furniture pieces, I got in a piece from Safavia. They actually gifted this piece to me and it's seriously so beautiful. It's a concrete table. I actually wanted to get it a few months ago, but it was out of stock. So if you guys are interested in it, highly, highly would recommend picking it up because it does sell out super quickly. It's just like, a smaller concrete table. You can use it as an indoor table as well as an outdoor table. I'm using it indoors. I think it looks amazing. So you guys will also see that in a apartment makeover video that will be going up later this week. The second thing that I picked up, I found actually in the Ikea as is section and I don't have the heart to return it because it is this beautiful outdoor table that I personally think would look amazing inside someone's place as a coffee table. So if you guys weren't aware, I am giving away like makeovers and trying to do subscriber makeovers so if you guys are interested in that and you live in the southern california area you can just send me a dm on instagram send me pictures of your space send me why you think you deserve a makeover kind of what you're going for and pretty much any room or area in your place that you want to make over you can submit and i am picking people the first video out of that should be up within the next few weeks which will be super exciting i don't have the heart to return that i'm just gonna keep it actually in my front closet because i have like a matching rug with that that i think would look so cute in someone's living room so i'm just gonna hold on to it for now and then now i guess i'll share with you guys the little giveaway prize this is a bath mat from urban outfitters that i picked up for you guys i will put a picture here of what it looks like so basically all you have to do to enter is be following me on Instagram and just be someone who actually engages with my content. You do not have to write enter me or anything like that. I'm either gonna scroll through like my followers randomly and choose someone or scroll through the likes on one of my like recent like 20 photos or whatever. And that is how I will pick a winner. And yes, that will be an international giveaway. So I will send this to wherever you live if you are the winner. I just thought I should start giving back whenever I post a haul video. So if I forget, hold me to that. Anytime I upload a haul, I would like to incorporate some sort of giveaway for you guys. And then the last thing that isn't from Home Goods because I got a lot of stuff from Home Goods, I just got this planter from Target. I love it, I'm obsessed with it, and I actually got this for someone else who is a fellow YouTuber who wants me to help decorate their office. And I thought that this would just be a great piece. It's totally her style, but I'm not gonna tell you guys who it is, so. That is super exciting. Okay, now on to home goods because that is where the remainder of everything else that I got from. So this first piece is a Tom Dixon London pillow and it just looks like this. I immediately just fell in love with the texture and it's gonna match perfectly with my new couch that will be here next week. Yes, I finally did get a new couch, so cannot wait to get that. And yeah, this is gonna look so perfect, I cannot wait. And then to go with my new couch, I also just got this little like olive throw. It has like the olive tasseling on it. Super simple, I just thought it would actually like keep me warm as well as it looks very minimal. And then I did actually get another linen blanket yesterday. This isn't from Home Goods. I actually found it at TJ Maxx, but I have seen this same like particular Lux linen brand at um, home goods before so it's just linen and it has all these little fun tassels on it and detailing this is going to go in my bedroom on my bed it's exactly what I was looking for so I was super excited when I found that and then the next thing that I picked up were just these linen like towels for the kitchen again super excited because I will be showing you guys my little kitchen makeover soon I still have a few more things to pick up and this is like exactly what I was looking for. I don't know why it was so hard to find something like this for my kitchen, but I eventually found it at Home Goods. 
And then I just got a ton of like books. They have coffee table books now at Home Goods. And I was really surprised to learn that they're actually not that much cheaper at Home Goods. They were like a dollar or two cheaper than they are on Amazon. So I'll be sure to link all these down below in case you can't find them at Home Goods. It's not that big of a price difference. But the first few that I got, I actually plan on reading because they seem like really good reads. The first book that I got is actually called Remodelista. Immediately when I opened this, like to the pages, I was like, wait, everything in this book is like so my style. So I definitely think I can pull some inspiration and stuff from this book. Super excited about this one. This next one is called the DIY Style Finder. And this one just has like a ton of really cute, fun, simple DIY like projects that you can do that I thought it would be fun to like read as well as it has some like style tips in here. So I got that one. And then the next one I got is called Styled, Secrets to Arranging Rooms from Tabletops to Bookshelves. And this is just like different tips and styling tricks on like coffee table styling and things like that. So again, I thought this would be something that I would actually like to read and could actually probably learn from. And then the next one that I got was actually on sale for $5. So this one actually was a pretty good deal. And this is just the elements of new architecture. I kind of want to start learning and getting into like actual like building and architecture and just learning a little bit about it because I don't really know anything about like that particular area. So I got this book. And then the next two are actual coffee table books that you just kind of get to look at the fun photos. The first one is called Beaches and I've seen this book like everywhere. I think they have it at Urban and stuff like that. And yeah, it's just pretty photos of different beaches pretty much. And then this next one is called Uncommon Places. And when I looked this up on Amazon, it actually basically is just really fun and interesting photography, different places from the 70s. I thought that that was just super cool. And the last thing that I picked up from Home Goods that was so, so, so random, but you know when you're like checking out in that little aisle that you have to like walk through and you look at all this stuff and someone had put this back and it's literally a wooden mushroom, but I think the way it's just like hand carved looks so cool. So this is actually like handmade in the Philippines and you can tell that it's handmade. It looks very uh, handmade with all the little fun detailing on it as I mentioned earlier. So picked that up and then also from home goods. Lastly, I totally forgot about this. I just saw it. This is like a little just like notebook to write on, but it's like a faux suede and I think it looks so expensive. So I thought that this was like cuter than my average like little ugly notebook that I write down my like video ideas or like what needs to get done. So I got that. I think that's going to be super cool and like very like chic and trendy looking on my coffee table as opposed to the gross notebook that I'm writing in right now. Then my next two purchases were from Amazon Prime because I'm obsessed as well as I've been just getting lost on Pinterest lately and I found that there was like 20 different people with this on their coffee table and it just looks so beautiful to me and just such a great way to store the Palo Santo. So people just have like their Palo Santo sticks in this little Jonathan Adler faces vase and I've wanted this for so long that I finally was just like, okay, you can splurge on like one little random trinket like this. And it's just really unique. It has a ton of different faces on it. And anything Jonathan Adler does is like amazing. So that was everything that I wanted to share with you guys in today's home decor haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to head on over to my Instagram. Make sure you're following me on there so you can be entered for the giveaway. And again, a huge thank you to Squarespace. If you guys are looking for a domain or a website or interested in opening an online store, I would highly recommend Squarespace. I personally have used Squarespace for several years now and just a few reasons why I'm so in love with it. It is very, very user friendly, super simple and easy to use. But if you do have any questions, they have award winning customer service. They will seriously help you very quickly. And I just love that the templates don't look like templates. You can choose from a ton of just amazing templates. But when you're looking at the different websites that people have created with Squarespace, it doesn't look like that was a template. It looks like it was custom made. So I love just like the quality of the templates that they provide. So if you guys are interested in checking out Squarespace, head on over to squarespace.com slash Nastasha for a discount as well as I'll have it linked in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!